This is the most common bug in platforming games. If your game runs at a fixed frame rate, this doesn't matter, but if you're using delta time or your frame rate can change, then it becomes a bug. The jump arc changes. So the problem is, when you add gravity, you'd think that you can just add it before or after moving and everything would be fine, right? But if you think through it, these pieces of code do slightly different things. The one where you add gravity later is going to have a higher jump arc because it's skipping around the upper side of the arc. So what's the problem? Which version's right? Well, neither is right. So here's what's up. For the motion that happens during a given frame, the effect of the gravity of that frame on the motion of that frame should be distributed across that entire frame. If you run tests or work out the numbers, it turns out that applying half the gravity for the current frame to the current frame's motion works right. So the code might look like this. But that's kind of fragile depending on how your game engine handles motion vectors. A less fragile version looks like this. You just need to split the gravity addition up into two parts, half before and half after the motion. It kind of looks like you're just taking the average of the two wrong versions, but it works out to give the right arc. 